Hi there, I'm Maureen Mancuso and I'm here to talk about issues related to teaching and learning in higher education in Canada. I've always loved teaching. Um, I love students. I love the interaction and the exchange of ideas. Um, I think that it's really important for people who take on administrative roles to continue um, with teaching. You have to be in a position where you're an administrator that you're finding the time to really promote a cycle of continuous improvement and, term and enhancement in the area of teaching and learning. Teaching and learning is a crucial, integral part of an institution's or university's mission, and I think it be has become increasingly difficult for folks to find a place for teaching and learning initiatives within an already crowded um, budget. One of the main challenges is how do you decide or how do you make sense of all of the pressures that an institution faces is where are you going to prioritize teaching and learning innovation um, in that ever-growing list of priorities. Stakeholders, whether that be parents, students themselves, our funders, so government, are looking for more evidence that students are learning what we say they are. They're now asking for more demonstrable evidence that students have acquired the knowledge, skills, and values um, that we purport uh, that they have learned throughout their degree programs. We all want our students to succeed when they leave us, whether that's in the workplace or whether they decide to go on to do further studies. This year at SUAC, I'm really going to focus on the area of teaching and learning and learning outcomes assessment, and as well, trying to talk about what metrics, what evidence we as a system can bring forward to support the measurement of teaching and learning quality. We have to make sure that the information, the evidence, and the data that we do have all work to an end that we're all happy with. Yeah. That is okay? <laughs> oh, you're great. 